Good morning, greetings to you today. Thanks for being a part of Watch Fox this morning. Reading from 2 Timothy. We've been talking a lot recently about that Paul-Timothy relationship this week. He says this, Paul gives Timothy some insight until the days we're living in today. Evil people and imposters will grow and become worse and worse and deceive many and they will be deceived. But you, Timothy, here's what you need to do. Here's the key. Here's how to stay out of all that stuff. Stay out of that mess. But you must continue in the things you've learned, being assured of them, knowing from whom you've loved, lived and loved them from a childhood how you've known the scriptures. And he points Timothy back to the scriptures. He says, Timothy, it's going to get worse and worse. Evil people. It's not so much just, you know, storms and showers and rains and thunders and earthquakes and stuff like that, but people. They're going to wax worse and worse. But you, Timothy, you need to be different, Timothy. You need to choose your path. Remember, it's not just believing in Jesus. It's choosing Jesus. You get to choose how you want to live your life. Do you want to live it over here in waywardness? And, and just to so many things can mess up your life. And I won't run through a list today. But there's also some things can bring good into your life. You can choose them. You can choose Jesus. You can choose to live by the Bible like I've chosen to do almost five decades now. You can choose the right kind of people to hang with, the power of choice. He says, Timothy, you need to make some good decisions, Timothy, as people in this world gets worse and worse, you need to make some good decisions for your sake and for your family's sake and your kids' sake. So Lord, I pray today, come on, pray with me. Lord, help me to make good choices. Help me to make good, right choices. And Lord, help me open my heart to you and your word so I will know the right choices to make. In Jesus' name, I pray for you today. Amen and amen.